say your name to everyone. Uh, my name's Andrew. Um, what happens if your fear of your emotions is greater than your desire to feel them? And then you'll never feel them. So how would, be you, you know, how would you get around that? And when I, I was in that state for a lot of my life. So um, the way I had to, do, had to uh, work through that is firstly, if, if your fear of emotions is greater than your desire to experience them, the first thing you need to start understanding, even at an intellectual level, is that the fear is the false expectations that appear real to you, not what is really going to happen. So most of us have some really, really strong false expectations about how bad it's going to get emotionally. So, for example, for many of you, if you feel like you allow yourself to get into your anger, what are you afraid of? Now, for some, we'll say, oh, I'm afraid of hurting someone. Judgment. Or you're afraid of judgment for yourself. So that's the next layer that you need to deal with before you'll get into your anger and before you'll get into the sadness. There's this blocking emotion of a fear of judgment. So what I would do then is I would pray to God about people judging me. Is it right? Should I accept it? How, does I, how do I feel inside about judgment? And connect to some of the feelings inside that you have about others judging you through your life. And you'll need to connect to it emotionally for it to be released. Now, when you allow yourself to feel the fear of judgment and release that, then you'll also allow yourself to feel ang the anger that's the childhood anger that's there. Does that make sense? So your fear of judgment is the capping emotion over the top of you allowing yourself to experience the anger. Yeah. Now, for every person here, it will be a different fear or multiple ones. Some, for some, it will be fear of punishment. Some, it's fear of judgment. Some, it will be fear of rejection. You know what I mean? It just depends on what emotions we were brought up on through our family life as to what particular dominant emotions they'll be that are blocking us from experiencing our anger. And so the key is to allow yourself firstly to hone in on that emotion. So, so to revise, all we need to do is say, all right, I know there's anger and rage within me, but I'm afraid of experiencing it. And all we need to do is ask ourselves the question, why? And write down all the reasons why you're afraid of experiencing your anger. And then they are the next group of emotions for you to pray about, and they are the next group of emotions for you to actually allow yourself to feel about. So what I do then is I write about it every day. I'll write something about it, or I'll pray to God about it every single day as well. And I'll talk about it in my conversations with others. You know I'm really afraid of experiencing my anger because every time I have in the past I've been judged for it as bad or you know whatever the emotion was. And or, or it might be, you know, I'm really afraid of experiencing my anger and feeling my anger because I think you're not going to love me if I'm angry. Whatever the block is, talk about that block. And in talking about the block and, and allowing yourself to begin feeling, in your case, the judgment, the judgment will lower, it will go down. And as that judgment goes down inside of yourself, your fear of the judgment releases. And as the fear of the judgment releases, you'll find the underlying emotion will become it'll feel like it's becoming more dominant and you'll start experiencing the underlying emotion. The reality is that the judgment is a bigger emotion inside of you at the moment than the other emotion is. So that's why you need to feel that one first. Does that, that make sense? Yeah. yeah. You got another question? Mm, no. no worries. Thank you. So does everyone understand what I just said there? Often there will be layers or, or of capping emotions on top of even an experience of anger. And often what we're dealing with, and in fact the, the most difficult emotions you will ever have to deal with in your entire life, are going to be the emotions that shut down all the other emotions. Or what I would call the blockages. Releasing the blockages is one of the most difficult tasks that you face. And it's my, my, it has been my most difficult problem all through my own progression. Because once I release the, the capping emotions, the other emotions just flow like a child. So it's quite easy to access the underlying emotions, but it's the capping emotions, and judgment is one of them, fear of rejection, fear of punishment, and quite a lot of other types of emotions like that. They are the reasons why we shut ourselves down. And we need to start being even honest and truthful about the reasons. 
once we feel that, talk about it with each other. You know, this is how I feel in this situation. This is how I feel in that situation. Start talking about the emotions that are blocking you. Then the fear of the blockages will start releasing inside of you. And the emotion that you're blocking will feel like it's growing, but in reality, it's becoming exposed. So it's a bit like, let's say you were digging a hole and there's a bit of treasure under the ground. And this is what your soul is really like. If you can think of your soul as a, as a five million dollar treasure in your backyard, the trouble is you don't know where it's buried. <laughs> this is how we often start, right, with our emotions. Often when we start, we do not know where our soul even is, let alone experiencing it. But if you were told there was a five million uh, you know, block of gold in your backyard, wouldn't you start digging everywhere? <laughs> Can you do that? And do you think you'd say, oh no, there's a good telly show today, I'll put it off to tomorrow. And do you think you'd then go, oh no, you know, there's a really good uh, you know, movie I can see down the, down the picture theatre, so I'll go there today. Oh no, but there's some mates coming over, so I'll just stop doing it then. And you wouldn't put do this, would you? If there was this $5 million block of gold in your backyard, well, your soul's more precious than that. So why do you stop digging? Right? So we need to make sure we dig. So when we start digging, what happens? Eventually, the treasure starts to show itself, does it not? Yeah. But it's like just the pinnacle of the treasure, isn't it? We just see the tip of the iceberg as we dig. And this is also what it's like with your emotions. As you start digging around and probing around inside of you emotionally, initially, what you will see is just a little bits here and there. But as you dig more and as you dig more, it will become wider and wider until you see the whole thing. And so when you get a fair way along this journey of allowing your emotions and releasing the blockages, you'll become very conscious of what emotions are within you. And you'll be able to see them very clearly. You won't feel judgment for them anymore. And you'll be very free to talk about them with anybody you meet. And you will allow yourself to begin experiencing them. And that's what we all need to do. But we all need to do it for ourselves. We can't rely on other people to do this for us. And that's where it's so important. You need to have that passionate desire, just like you would if you were told there was some treasure in your backyard. 